getting off the ship today in Naples, Italy. Hi. The happy crew waving goodbye. Norwegian epic over there. Remember the epic? Look for it on our channel. People getting their picture taken. So today, since we've already been to Pompeii, Capri, Sorrento, we're going to see Naples by walking around. Over there on the right, there's a lot of shops here. I don't know if their prices are good or bad or what. And now we're going to go down this long stairway and we'll be out on the street. We're going to try to go up to on that hill that you probably can't see from here. Came down that long stairway there. It's a little shopping area up there and information. And there's the Norwegian Epic, Costa Neo Riviera. Our ship is over there. Apparently we're going to walk across here and go out. We're hoping to get up to there or at least there. A little bit of a gauntlet here of uh, tour guides and taxi drivers, like at many ports. So we're just going to try to walk through them. That's not too bad, they're ignoring us, apparently. Hey, the JWs are here again. Haven't seen them in a couple weeks. In fact, there's the ship. We stopped off to see how much the hop on hop off bus was, 23 euros each. There's two lines that goes on. You can ride them both, get off whenever you want, get on whenever you want. So it's a good deal, but we don't want to be out that long. So, consequently, we're just going to walk. We might take the funicular. That's only a euro. This guy, they take it down to Pompeii for 15 euros or a few other places. Um, Pompeii, Vesuvius, Sorrento is 20 euros. Positano and Amalfi are 40 euros. I'm assuming that's a round trip, but I don't know. Here's the first restaurant we've come to over here. Oh, look at that place. Yeah. And then here's the uh, vendor selling the glasses and hats. Glasses and hats. And they're coming all the way down, so we're going to have to walk by them too. And there's this nice sign here telling you where everything is. We're headed for the Funiculare Centrale Vomero. So that way. I imagine up there. It's green. So we are crossing. Um, some people don't think about the colors of the traffic signals. They just go. Oh, it's yellow. Oh, okay. And here's the castle. I'm going to go take a picture here. The Costa one's right behind the castle there. You see up there a cannonball or something hit it at one time. It's a massive massive castle we've walked up this uh, wooden ramp because that's where the sign said go there's like a tunnel there and there's a lot of construction going on here I don't know if it's a subway station they're building or what but it's deep down but they're protecting stuff too broken glass. Anyway, here's the front of the castle, I think. There at the castle, right there, said turn this way for the funicular. Funiculare, central. Hey, the light just changed green. I don't think we're going to get there in time. Some hop-on, hop-off buses again, though. What do you think? Let's go down that way we came up to 
past the castle. We found this place. To this giant building. It's all glass dome. It's even got birds in it. Got a fancy floor. And it seems to be shaped like a cross. The ship is that that direction. We walk this way. We're gonna go out this side. <laughs> That's what it looks like if I go all the way back over my head. Back towards the castle, there's the epi down there in the harbor. And now we're going to go this way. Of course, we went through this is the building that was the mall. But we're going to go off this way because somehow we missed a funicular sign, I think. Although I'm not sure because I've never been here on this street before. There's police everywhere, though. I'll tell you that. Everywhere and they have a fountain over there, a fontana. There's the epic. The cross. Uh, I'm just looking for one of those signs that tells where everything is. There's some more policemen. They are everywhere. I'm not sure what this guy's doing. That big mall is on the other side of this building. But I asked the policeman, he said, come up here and then go across. So that's what we're going to do. So we came all the way up there. You can see the Norwegian Epic down there. And we made a right here. And this is like the main drag here. There is a million people out here. Okay, maybe a few thousand. And I noticed they walk in the road, but it's not a close... I don't think. Maybe it is. I know cars and scooters go by. Well, maybe it's closed. Well, no, it says it there too. But he's going to go on it. Maybe he's going to go that way. Anyway. The uh, 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 army girl back there she said right here so we were almost there funiculare centrale see that I'm guessing we go in here right tickets for funicular cost one euro and ten cents and you put it in the machine that way And then you go through. You see there's the arrow? And then you wait here. And I guess those gates open. How about in there? Elevator. Okay, not. Funiculare, which is a funicular train. I'm already sweating because it's pretty one humid. Euro ten each way. We paid for one way. Up, up, up the funicular. Funiculare centrale. We're going to get off the funicular at Piazza Fuga. I think this is the last stop, right? Which way? Well, everyone's lined up for that door. I guess you can go both ways. Let's go this way, right? We're in some sort of a train station. Came out of the train station here. 
to a small plaza, square. Nice and clean though. Got this weird fountain. Uh, and I guess there's a subway here. The metro. Castle St. Elmo is that way. So it says that's that way. It said go this way. So we're gonna go this way. Right here. Whoa! That was meant for you. Oops. Did they really almost kill that guy? <laughs> anyway, uh, up here it's not quite as clean. Does she not know there's an escalator right there? Oh, it's broke. Got off the funicular right around the corner to the left there. Came up these stairs. There's a sign there, Castle St. Elmo, this way. So that's the way we're going to go. To see St. Elmo. We're in the uh, supermarket now. Thought you might want to look. See what they have. Looks like any other supermarket. That beer is 99 cents though. That's a good deal. Got your cheese. This is what you really want to see over here. Your seafood. Looks delicious, huh? Swordfish. Sushi. In Naples. Napoli. With two sushi chefs. Two sushi chefs. And Sapporo and Asahi beer. Crazy, huh? Sushi daily. Happily handmade. Station down there. Came up along the supermarket. Decided to go in and have a look. I have a bathroom in there, but it's kind of hard to find. Just ask somebody. And now we're coming to another sign that says Castle St. Elmo. So I'm assuming it's right up these stairs. This is a not touristy part of town, I can tell you that. Not touristy. Here. set of stairs there you can't see going down supermarkets down there came across this uh, church which seems a little out of place maybe and I'm assuming we got to cross the street here and climb another set of stairs because there's a sign behind that billboard street billboards <laughs> or sidewalk billboard This is Castle St. Elmo up there. Now we've gone half a mile since the funicular station. And I see a sign that says Castle St. Elmo over there. And a lot of people going there a couple of staircases ago down there. And as we get up here, it says Castle St. Elmo over there. But this says Funiculare. And so I'm guessing this was a different station we could have got off. And we didn't know it, or it's a different funicular. We rode that middle one going at an angle. And now we're standing at this one, but we haven't been to the castle yet. And apparently there's one more funicular. So be careful which one you get on. Museum and castle. Had we known which one to ride, when I asked the police about the funiculare, they just pointed at one. So I'm not really sure. Maybe back at the ship we should have gone a different direction. Anyway, but we're up here. I had to walk a little bit, but that's okay. Got some nice graffiti here. Castle St. Elmo that way, and there's a museum. Eventually. I've been walking up this street for a little while. Following the signs. And here's another one, pointing off to the left. So 
So now we'll be heading off to the left. I hear a car coming though. Si. Grazie. Where are you from? California. Oh, American. Si. The hill and turned where the sign said. And this man said castle that way. And then he said they, uh, his family has a cameo business. They make cameos and now we're going to look at it, I guess. But here we are at Castle St. Elmo. Cameo factory. Paola. Ooh, is that a fire? Or did Vesuvius erupt? See, after, see, to carve the cameo, I use a good wax. That's wax, then I need the glue, the piece from the shell. Okay. Just hold it. After, I remove the cross to find white inside. See, like this. That's ready to carve in your Oh. It's white and the piece. Yes. See, See, when I glue up here with a wax, just hold it. We I can't it see that. Inside, with a pencil. That's, that's what Jose is telling us. Look, now, that's a special request. Oh, my God. Cameo goodness. flowers. <laughs> you see those? So, so carving white card. You get it down to the ground. Ah. See, and me. Please. See, that's typical made only Naples cameo. <clears throat> so no two cameos are going to be the same. No. Yeah. Melly and Corelli de Paola, the cameo factory right there. We came down that street. I got some good deals in the cameo factory if you're looking for cameos. Talk about it later. But now we want to go in the castle. He was telling me in the cameo factory that it's four euros to get in here, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to pay the euros, aren't we? Gonna have to pay. Wow, this is a this is a castle, huh? Look at that up on top of the hill. Five euros to get in each. Look at it. It's got to be worth it, right? in here but there's really no directional signs that I can see on what to do or where to go oh now here's a sign elevator Woo. here push the elevator button waited a few minutes an elevator came and we got on it and we pushed uh, two and one. Doors opened, and we were up here. So this is a big place. We're like inside the fort, you see that? And now we're gonna walk up on the wall, I suppose, right? Yeah, clock tower. So the soldiers knew what time it was time the bombings would happen. Okay, we're gonna walk up these steps, which either they're very old or not very maintained. Oh, my legs are tired of walking upstairs though, I gotta tell you. But then we're gonna get up here. Oh my goodness. We're gonna look at a gun port down upon the city. Over there somewhere is a fire, and of course if you look way over there, that's Vesuvius. We'll see it better from another angle. So we came up some stairs right there. Janet went over there. I decided to go this way. I guess these are old cannon ports, gun ports. And this is an old way out there, I guess. They don't want you to go. 
this, you can just look around and see everything. See? That giant antenna tower. You see the whole fort. Oh, Janet's standing over there. So now we're looking uh, west, maybe. There's the ocean. There. Came up from that stairway over there. Walked across. I'm sorry. Of course, you can walk around down there, but you can't see out. Now we're out in a little bit different area. I don't know how he got down there. I guess right over there. There's the harbor. Looks like Monte Carlo right there. It's probably Capri straight out. That's Vesuvius. Oh, that's Vesuvius. Over there. Yeah, it's noon. So, we walked halfway around the castle. I believe this is south. Facing here. Everything's so pretty from up here. Especially the women. side and you can see the ships. Got a Costa ship, Royal Caribbean, a Norwegian cruise line, and a bunch of ferry boats. And that fire is still raging. And of course that, that's Mount Vesuvius. So Pompeii is like over that way. Look at the high rises down there. This is a monastery I believe down here below us. They have bathrooms here, down on the uh, floor here. That's the wall up there we just walked. So we came down the elevator and walked out the front of the castle and then went around to the right and found this ramp back up in. Because you never really went inside other than to get on an elevator. Came around from there, across that bridge, and then we're going into here. So why is that vibrating like that? Is it that light? Yeah, I think so. Okay, now there's all sorts of places to go. It's way down there. Little look out, you can look out. But the ship's right out there, huh? I can't think I'm gonna hit my head. Ship, oh, it's right over there. You can't see it because of the monastery. Your voices. That's a ramp going down through the inside of the castle. I mean, there's nothing to see there, really, other than lots of lookouts along the way, portholes, gun ports, or whatever. But we're gonna, so we walked all the way back up. We're gonna walk back to the elevator and ride down, get out of here. We left the castle, St. Elmo, and took a right. We're going to see if we can get back to the ship this way, walking. We might be out on a cliff though, but hopefully there's a way down. Came down from the castle, that's it. Remember we walked back up and went under that 
place with the wings. Went back inside once. There's Cameo Factory here. Um, this is supposed to be a monastery in here somewhere. But I did find some stairs down. I'm guessing we'll be using them. Right? Yeah, I think that'll work. Don't you? Down the stairway. Coming down. Stairway, the area is just covered with broken glass. And stuff stuck to the plants coming out the wall. But it seems like a good way down. And of course, all of Naples below you. Anyway, started way up there, came down. It's rather steep though, so. <laughs> And if it were raining, I wouldn't do this, I don't think. I didn't want to join up yet. But it's nice views of the city. And the plane's taken off from the airport. And the fresh graffiti. Right between those buildings, you can see the castle. And it's up there. We see people going up. Yeah. See grapes on the grapevines. And then this shrine with fresh flowers. I think they're, some are real. Yeah. Sort of locked up in there. Oh, we're coming to a little zigzag. Yes. So we've done some really nice artwork here. And uh, our path is going to zigzag, 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 zigzag for a little bit. Been a long way down, a lot of steps. But I hear street noise, so we must be getting close. That's a lot of people walking up. I would not recommend it unless you're in really good shape. Plus the funicular is only a euro. So why not ride up and walk down? And then you can laugh at the people coming up like we did. <laughs> a few more steps. Hey, see, we're at a street. Of course, we still got to get down to ship level. Magnolia trees, big ones. So, hey, there's a lavenderia for two euros. Want to go back and get some clothes? Remember in Chitavecchi, it was five or six to wash your load and dry a load. Down the stairs from the castle, back up there. As soon as we came to a street, we just made a ride on it, and you can see the ships and everything, and now we're just walking down that same street. We uh, haven't deviated. There's been some places where we could walk down more stairs, but I'm thinking this is probably a good way to go. Eventually there'll be a street going towards the ship. Remember the ship's parked next to uh, a castle and a big mall, so... You can find either of those places. On the stairs, you know, I think that's the monastery. The castle's up behind it, higher. Um, and we keep passing places like this. Can you see that? And the ship, of course, is out there in the harbor. But that is a long way down. Down the same road, remember, from the stairway for 10 or 15 minutes and now we're coming to the city where we'll be able to make a left go back straight out to the ship but you know we can't see it there but I think we're gonna get ourselves down in here somewhere and head back to the ship that's part of the castle up there I think so we cross the street and we're going to head down these stairs. More stairs, yeah. Way up there. And we're walking down this very narrow one-way street. And they just race up it. And the sidewalk keeps switching from one side to the other. See, it was on this side. And there's these little uh, markets you see along the way. And they're really just like the size of a bedroom or something. I think I'm crossing the street here. Pizza delivery. There's another one. 
There's a restaurant, pizzeria. But it's very busy, very busy. And then there's streets like that you can go down. But we're headed back to the ship and we believe this is the right way because we're going downhill. But it's a long way down there. Been walking straight down, and I mean straight down this road, and now suddenly we're reaching a part where there's no cars. It was super busy right up there. And now I see pillars across the street, so there's definitely not gonna be cars down here. Scooters maybe still. But I think we're safe. If you look up there, way at the top, you can see the monastery and the castle is up above behind it, remember? We came down right there. And that's not a scooter, that's some sort of bike. And we, we decided to make a left and go down here to, there's a big church square and then from there we can go straight out to the ship, I think. So now we're just gonna do a little bit of shopping, I think. And I'm pretty sure this is a pedestrian mall. No cars or scooters. Down this pedestrian area. Now we're going to make a right out here where this big church is. So we're getting very close to the ship. Got some lions here, some bums. A big place here, and of course that. And the ship is like just over there because there's the ocean, right? In fact, we'll probably head that way. Kind of feels like uh, the Vatican, St. Peter's, kind of. Big square, big church. We of course came from up there. In fact, you can see the castle right there. Right up on the very top there. And then we came to this place, which is uh, pretty big, right? Then we saw Janet. And that's a good 360 of that. I think we're gonna head off this way maybe. Uh, gelato from a gelato place. Mine being made. It's so good. <laughs> For you. Grazie. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Ciao. Bye. I also have these. And those. And those. And now we're going to head back towards that mall and back to the ship. Went to the church there, went over there and bought some gelato. Now we're back here in this area. Earlier we were in that mall right there. Remember with the big glass dome? We found ourselves a tour to follow. But we're going to head back down this way and back to the ship. We came from up around there. The church is on the other side of this. This was the Royal Palace. It is the Royal Palace. Of course. You can go in it. And here's that first castle we stopped by. Where all the on off buses are. Hop on, hop off. The ship is directly through that castle. And we'll be back there in five minutes. <laughs> 